Hi everyone, it's Angela from Mommy PR. Uh, Choice Hotels asked me to promote this new contest that they're having where they're going to give a lucky winner $10,000 to redo a vacation gone cray cray. So basically, you've got to tell your story. You've got to tell what happened on your trip that made it so bad. It's sad that I kind of have two that run neck and neck. I'm not even sure which one I would pick. Um, one was when we were stationed in Washington, and um, I won't name the hotel, but I will say that I did a review on it and posted the review. Uh, they allowed us to come to their hotel, and it was kind of like a local vacation, so it was close to home. It was literally maybe 30, 45 minutes away from the house, but they allowed pets, so we thought, this is great. We just had adopted um, a husky, and he was under a year old at the time, so we thought this was great. We'll take him to the hotel and we'll see what the surrounding area had because we heard they had great waterfalls and things like that. We get to the hotel and our initial reaction when we walked in was it looked great. It, it looked good. They were welcoming, inviting, but everybody kind of hugged the wall when they seen our husky walking through. They just hugged the other side of the wall. We're like, all right, it's fine. We get to the room and... The beds looked like they had never been changed. It looked like the last person had just literally walked out the door. Um, it wasn't very good. There were no towels in the bathroom. It was just a really bad experience from the get-go. We thought, okay, we're going to go tell them. They'll fix it up. So we decided to go check out some waterfalls and uh, the local attractions while they would kindly clean our room, change our sheets, and please add some towels. So we were walking with our new husky, and at the time, um, we had a different uh, collar on him because we, we actually did not know that huskies had been known to just kind of pull themselves out of every contraption that you put on them. So uh, my husband's walking along the area where the waterfalls are coming down and everything, and our husky just takes a leap of faith into the water and takes my husband with him. Uh, it was more funny, like that kind of, you know, didn't ruin anything. It was more hilarious, the, the fact that they both came out fine and we were, you know, laughing that he was all wet and the dog was all wet. So we go back to the hotel and we see, okay, the bed has been changed. There's a couple more towels in the, in the bathroom, but clearly they did not understand what we expected from this room. I had pulled out a pen and I was taking notes for the review and my pen dropped on the floor and uh, I go down to look for it, and I can't find it. I'm like, oh, I'll just move the bed to find my stinking pen. I move the bed away from the wall, and it's just covered in... I don't even want to guess what happened there. But I guarantee it was just not okay to be laying on top of. So we decided we actually weren't even going to stay the night there. But before we were going to leave, we wanted to check out the hot tub and all the amenities and things. And when we get to the hot tub, not only does it not work, but there is just this film on the top of the water. It would, And I'm telling you, this hotel just seemed completely nice. It was nice for the area. It just sounded good. And then, I mean, who doesn't like a pet-friendly hotel? I mean, that's what you look for when you've got, um, uh, you know, little fur babies. I I could not believe it. We, we actually, we didn't say the night. We went straight back home. So it was it was a very short staycation. My other trip, though, that was a lot further away from home was, um, I was, oh my god, I was in my 20s, and I just married my husband, and, um, we had a daughter, she, at the time, I'm, I'm thinking she's two-ish, but, um, he had enlisted, and he had gone overseas already ahead of us, and, you know, he called, you're gonna be heading over here, and my first thought was I had never... I had never left my town. I had never even ventured outside of, you know, the surrounding cities with my town. So I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to get on a plane. I'm so scared. I'm going to travel with my daughter. This is just terrifying. And let alone the hassle that you have to go through to get passports and get clearance to go live over there and ship your stuff. I mean, it was just, it was crazy for someone to handle. That didn't even compare to the trip that we endured 
So we get on our trip, uh, on our flight in Pittsburgh, and they tell us, you know, it's going to be this many hours, and we're going to land at this time. I literally packed enough diapers and there were pull-ups for that allotted time, and I prayed to Jesus that we made it from point A to point B in one piece because I was scared to death of takeoff. And I thought if takeoff was that bad, I can only imagine how much landing was. So we take off, and then we, like, I don't even know how it happens. We reroute to like somewhere over, I don't even know, Delaware or something, you know, towards Canada area. I don't even know how we, we routed, but somehow we routed around the, the straight line that we should have been taking and it adds some time to our, our flight. And I was like, okay, how do I contact my husband? I don't even know how to call overseas yet. You know, just a brand new brand new in the military of uh, being a spouse and then we land and we landed in London at Heathrow Airport and I will never forget that airport for the rest of my life it's not only one of the largest airports I have ever been now years later been to but it was also so confusing and for a first time flyer to land there devastating. I cried. I cried so hard because I was so lost because they told us, oh, you know, we have to land here and switch planes because of the weather and because of this and because of that. And I'm like, oh, where do I go? What plane do I get on and who is going to take me to it? I used a pay phone. Yes, we still had pay phones. I used a pay phone to call my husband and I was crying and explaining to him. I went over to uh, you know, customer service desk and explain the whole situation, what happened with our plane, and I don't know where to go, and she tells me, oh, don't worry, we'll give you another ticket, and you'll go catch the next plane. I'm like, okay. I get the other ticket. I I ask her, how do I get the next plane? Oh, you got to go out here. You know, you got to get on this double-decker shuttle thingy, and they're going to take you here. I'm, oh my gosh. It was, it was crazy. So here I am, out of diapers. I went to go buy more pull-ups. And the price was like uh, double, you know, the, the American money. I, I couldn't understand that. Like, it, for being by yourself with a two-year-old, I was lost, confused, <laughs> out of everything. <laughs> and it might sound like, oh, it was just a quick trip. You know, you hopped on one plane, you ended up in London, and then you hopped over and you ended up in Italy where you were supposed to be. No, the plane trip actually took, from the time that it was supposed to take, it took us 36 hours to fly from point A to point B. And it just, it, it was a mess. And it wasn't a happy reunion because once I got there to see him, because he had been over there for, I believe it was six months at the time, and I got off the plane and I just looked at him and he was like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. And I thought, yeah, I'm a lot happier to be off that plane right now. <laughs> it, was, it was very traumatizing. So needless to say that when we PCS from Italy to Fort Lewis, um, I told him, you know, you will be flying with me because now we had two kids. You will be flying with me. I will not be flying by myself. <laughs> so, um, it was definitely a traumatizing experience for that one. You know, the first trip, okay, it was okay. It was a little messy and dirty and all that kind of stuff. But the second trip definitely had scarred me for life. I know if I go and see Heathrow Airport again, uh, I will not be the one navigating that trip. So... But um, watch for my details below my video. It'll tell you where to go to read all the information for the Choice Hotels um, vacation gone cray cray. And they're offering up $10,000 to someone else who has a really horrible story. The winner of the story can use that money to have another vacation. Uh, and also keep an update on our blog. They're sending us to a Choice Hotel in our area. They do have European um, branches here. So we're gonna go to the one in Hof, Germany. And it looks like a great hotel. It does look uh, very businessy, but the area looks like it has a lot of attraction. So we're going to go check it out, and I'll be writing up about what I thought about my stay there. It is also pet friendly, but I think we're going to leave the dogs home this time. All right. Bye.